So at that time, Ian McCarg and Phil Lewis and others were playing around with plastic overlays. And um, I built basically a numerical grid system for playing around with maps. And it was all basically built on card sorters. And about that time, uh, I heard about uh, the Lab for Computer Graphics, just a small article in, a, in some journal. So I decided to continue my studies at Harvard, go there after all, uh, finish my master's at Minnesota, and, and, and went to the lab. I met Howard Fisher the very first day, middle of the summer. And he uh, looked at my work and just became almost fanatical. Uh, with me, so you just gotta, you just gotta work here. That's his his sort of emotion was, very, you know, moving around and, and very uh, animated. And uh, he showed me basically the sim app and showed me what he was working on. Told the whole history of the lab in one afternoon. And um, my wife Laura, who was with me in the car waiting, <laughs> I had to sit there and walk around the car all afternoon while I was um, being talking with, with uh, Howard. Immediately, Howard put me to work <laughs> and gave me a job. And it was an hourly job. Uh, and actually, I was paid well, $4.40 four an hour. And I could work as many hours as I wanted to, he said. <laughs> I was quite shocked. Because in those days, $4.40 an hour was an enormous salary. And um, so I worked under the uh, air pollution grant that the lab had. And there were other people that were sort of interested in it, um, but they weren't sort of focused like I was focused. So he could direct me and get a job done, make a map. And, and I just started doing his, his mapping. And there were two ladies that, that um, that basically programmed and developed and extended parts of three boxes of cards. And the three boxes of cards were, were SimApp. And then there was another half a box of cards, which later came to be known as SimView. And um, we were supported by the Harvard Computer Center, which was about a quarter mile away, where we'd carry our cards down with, with our little decks of to run CAN programs and then make maps. And the turnaround at Harvard Computer Center was about eight hours, unless you were there at, at uh, you know, midnight to four in the morning, which often I was. And uh, then you could get like two or three hour turnaround time. So I'd make a submission, uh, make a map, and then, uh, you know, correct my, my uh, instructions for the tool and, and get the map back. Uh, so I think my first attempt to make a computer map took me something like uh, 30 submissions. <laughs> so you can imagine this happened over uh, a month or so. You know, why the hell can't I make a map? <laughs> I was just desperate to get a map out of that, out of that machine. And uh, I w I'm not really very careful at key punching and uh, wasn't skilled at it. But eventually, um, I got a map out, and then it was, uh, was pretty good after that. I think I learned more in that one year than I had learned in the previous 10 years in academic life. It was like everything got turned up. The dials got turned up. You know, when you drink seven cups of coffee, how you feel? Uh, you're just hyper, and everything is like magical and, and new and, and exciting. So it was, for me, like drinking out of a fire hose of knowledge. And it wasn't just in the design school or in the Harvard lab. It was like, um, you know, I was taking classes from Galbraith on the new industrial state and talking and taking classes in the population school on, uh, you know, with Dr. Here and taking, uh, you know, studying over at the Kennedy School, a class here, a class there, uh, looking at voting behavior. And it was like, whoa, this is really, was really exciting. So uh, when you feel that exhilarated, uh, you have enough energy um, to work day and night, which I did. <laughs> uh, so for me, it was a very creative and um, um, a great time. For the first couple of years, I maintained very close uh, communications with Howard. He would write me 
uh, frequently, like sometimes two or three times a week, <laughs> uh, in longhand, and uh, uh, and I enjoyed that. He was very much of an encourager of what I was doing and trying to um, see if, or through his writings, if he could get this com what he called computer mapping launched into a into a real commercial venture. He'd seen people use SIMAP in places like Shell Oil or other places where they'd apply it to something, but the idea of building an actual business out of it was very attractive to him. And uh, so I was his research attempt <laughs> or prototype in that particular area. And it was uh, difficult uh, because we did it with really no money at all. And just sort of scratched along. But he did give me a contract to write the SimView manual, which was um, uh, a very small contract the first summer we got started. And um, I guess it became part of that little module. But then uh, later he asked if I would come back and work with him again or take over some of the leadership of the lab. And I, by that time, I was two years invested into ESRI and and personally just couldn't do it. But I flew back and talked to him about it and uh, some of the other faculty. Um, but I couldn't do it, actually. <laughs>